Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 23 of the Leaco Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Hmm. Count of smaller numbers after self. Okay, so which one is this? You're given a numbers array and you're returning a new count where it counts as the number of smaller elements to the right of numbers of i. Okay. I think there are probably a lot of ways to do this. Mm, I'm trying to think whether... So there, there are at least one obvious way of doing it, which is just like a binary search tree type, you know, uh, distributed thing. And of course, that would be n log n. Can we do it in linear? Mm, and n log n will, will be fast enough for competitive for most ends. So... I, uh, that would have been good enough if I was special if I was in the contest. Um, but for this one, let's see. Can I do smaller? Six, one, six, two, 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 regular five. No, I think. Hmm. Like, I was just trying to think whether I can. Is there um, a sort of like a mono, uh, mono. In this case, probably mono stack. But I don't think so. I think you need. the differentiation for every one so yeah so so yeah so that's that said, so i think this is just um using in this case a library but you can also think about there are a couple of ways you can do it right what, what are the numbers 10 to the fourth um and maybe negative but that's okay you can actually you know so there are a couple of things you can do there's bit which is binary index tree or or fenwick uh tree um there's also just seg trees in general which is segment tree. Um, I think mean, either of which is probably a little tough if you haven't already done it. Uh, there's also BBST, right? Like binary uh, or balanced binary search tree. Um, and then the thing that I'm going to use is, um, yeah, and there's also like stuff like, uh, like yeah, I forget what it's called. Like there's stuff like, you know, skip list, is order statistic trees, um, etc. Right? There's there are a lot of stuff like that. Um, it depends on your language and your library and what you can do. The way that I'm going to do it is uh, today probably a little bit lazy, but so from in Python anyway, there's this thing called sorted list, and it is kind of yeah. So yeah, it is kind of what it, it sounds like. Which is that you? It's just a list that is maintained to be sorted. There's some caveat about the the actual complexity and the time stuff like that, but for the most part, it should be okay. So yeah, so let let's do that. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go over it that much with respect to a uh, sec tree and uh, binary index tree. Definitely, if that's what you're interested. in look that up, do some research on, you know, the Googles or the YouTubes or whatever. Um, this is, in, in the case that you are wanting to learn those things, this is a very basic implementation or like this is a very basic request of those things. So definitely look those things up. Um, if that's what you want to learn, if you have a, a couple of hours or a, a couple of days, if you will, to, to want to learn, this is a good application of like just plugging it in and trying for it. Um, okay. So then now we have a sorted list as you go to sorted list um, for x in nums and we want it kind of backwards of course this actually creates an actually we probably actually want something like this instead um, because technically it's a little bit iteratory so you save some space but it's not a big deal um, and then here we just do a binary search right we want to so we want it's a number that is exactly smaller. So that means that we want to so, uh, find this by left because, yeah, because everything to the left of this will be, so this is the index. So if, yeah, everything to the left of this will be smaller, right? So that means that that's the number of elements that is smaller. So then we can do enter.append index and then sl.insert. Is insert at x. And that's pretty much it, really. 
Um, so sometimes it is just library. There are different libraries in different languages that you may look at look up. Um, okay, maybe am I off by one? Hmm. I guess I am off by one. Oh wait, no, I'm not. Oh, oh, oh! Of course, I have to reverse this back. Um, because we did it in reverse order, so that going from right to left instead of left to right, it allow us to. I I didn't put enough emphasis on this one. I just kind of was focused on day here. But yeah, once you reverse it, it becomes, then you can process it in an order and then all the numbers that you've seen, you've already get, right? Um, in theory, you could do it the other way as well, where we just put everything in the sorted list and then just, you know, remove them one by one. It's the same thing. So, you know, do whichever one you want. Uh, but yeah, let's give a quick submit and then see. Hmm, wow, the timing is very slow. Hopefully today I'm, I'll get fast enough. Uh, yeah, 844 day streak. Yay. What did I do the first time? Why is it so much uh, faster? Hmm. Now I did do it with binary index tree the first time. And then I second time I probably did the same thing of sort of list, if you ask me. Uh, yeah. And yeah, oh, I reversed it. Okay. But yeah, um, this is going to be n log n, say, uh, because this is an n loop. And of course, this is a log n operation this is also log n operation and then you need linear space for the answer and sort of list so yeah um that's pretty much all i have for this one like i said if you really like you know this is friday or saturday depending on where you are and you want to spend a couple of more hours just like learning new things then these are the things that we get into apparently i even did it with binary index tree once so yeah you can definitely get into that uh oh yeah and I, I re-indexed it, so that even makes it more straightforward. Cool. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.